Hi everyone, I'm Tamara Norman, and today I want to share with you who I consider to be a blessed person. So in the Greek, the definition of blessed means to be favored with God, to be in one mind with God, and to be in tune with God. The person in the Bible who I will always consider to be one of the most blessed being to exist is Christ himself. Yes, we consider him to be the blesser, but sometimes we don't see the fact that he also was blessed by God. In Matthew 3 verse 17, the word says that God announced him publicly. When he was baptized, the heavens were open and a voice came from heaven and said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. To be announced by God publicly means that you carry the mind of God, the will of God, and also being favored by God. Romans 8 verse 30 says, that whom he has predestined, he has called, and whom he has called, he has justified, and the person who he has justified, he also glorifies. So let's think again when we think about the person who is blessed. The world's definition of blessing is really caught up in the things we have, in the places we work, in the titles we have. But the truth is in God's world and in God's authority and truth and laws and principle, the blessed person is one who does not sit in the seat of the scornful, the one who delights himself in the ways of the Lord, the one who hungers and thirsts after righteousness. Those are the ones who are considered to be blessed because our minds are tuned to the things of God. Our minds and our desires are in oneness with God and we're also favored by God. So again, Jesus Christ, everything he did was to the glory of God, even to the point of death. He keeps saying this word that he says, nevertheless, not my will, but that will be done. I'm asking you today, is that your posture of one who is blessed? That is not so much about my will, but it's about the will of God being fulfilled in and through us to the point where God can say, I have called you, I've justified you, and now I'll glorify you because you're walking in my will. So my prayer for you today, and I pray that you pray the same. That in the midst of everything that we do in our lives, that we will check our hearts to know, am I blessed? Am I truly walking as one who is blessed by God? And it's going to only be because we don't walk in the way of the ungodly. We don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Our delight is in the laws of God. And in his law, we will meditate day and night. So with that said, I welcome you and I invite you to share with us on the 22nd of October, our worship experience, Youth Sunday, it's coming up and we're looking forward to seeing you. That your mindset will be changed, your heart will be changed, transformed and ready to walk as one who is blessed, who will be announced by God because you have the heart of God. God bless you.